Welcome to today's service, whether online or reading at home. Let us now seek God's presence and blessing as we commit this time together. Climate chaos is one of the greatest injustice we face. Together, we stop this climate crisis. Droughts are now more frequent and more intense due to the climate crisis. We are going to now look at how money raised this Christian Aid Week can have a huge impact on lives in the third world countries. We now have our opening prayer. God of all creation, we come together or apart, longing to meet with you to be refreshed and restored by the spring of living water, by the source of all life in your mercy. Meet with us here. Amen. We now have the Christian Aid Pair, written for 2021 by Bob Kikayu. Great God, who makes the sun to rise and opens the heavens, hear the cry of the people who sow in hope for rain, but reap only despair. Hear the cry of the people seeking shelter from the storm, their hopes and homes submerged. Hear the cry of the people when creation is hitting back with rage and resistance. Give us hope, grant us salvation, give us a new relationship with creation, with reverence to tend this gift from you, from you, and say once again of the earth and all you created, it is good. Amen. Please join in and say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Our first hymn is a old school favourite of mine. I can remember singing this um, when I was at primary school in Western Supermare. Um, so our first hymn is Water of Life. Thank you. 
Florence's story. A woman sings a deep, joyful tune. Her song lifts the spirits of others, other women on the farm. This is Florence. She is full of life, love and laughter. The women in her farming group look up to her. She's courageous, kind and a survivor. A few years ago, her husband died, leaving her a widow. At that time, she had no water to grow crops. Her children were hungry. She had to walk hours on a dangerous journey to collect water. Life was miserable, she told us. Florence could have easily been defeated, but Florence is a fighter and she shows the women in her farming group that they too can be fighters. Next to her farm, Florence is proud to show us something remarkable, a dam full of fresh water. And it's thanks to Christian Aid Week donations like yours that Florence and her community have built this water dam. With the help of our partner, ADSE, just a short walk from her village. I have been sustained by the Earth Dam. My life has changed. I'm very happy. You can see it in my face. My face is shining. I have strength and power. With this dam, Florence can grow tomatoes, onions, papaya and chilies on her farm. Her children can eat healthy, nutritious vegetables. It's her source of life and joy. Florence also uses the water from the dam to keep honeybees. She sells the rich golden honey for cash at the market. Now Florence is reaping a good life for herself and her family. The dam give, gives Florence strength to withstand even the most unpredictable weather. It's a reliable water source whether she faces long drought or relentless rainstorms. I am thankful to people who have donated to build this earth dam. I am praying God will increase their giving. Florence is generous and she knows other people are struggling to cope without a reliable water source. There is a village nearby. They don't have an earth dam. They travel for a long way to come to this water point. They are suffering. Giving today helps more people like Florence stop this climate crisis. And your generosity this Christian Aid Week could help other communities build a dam Many more people will have the water they need to sustain their families. Our next hymn is called Beauty for Brokenness and this was written by Graham Kendrick. The version I've chosen is actually, he actually sings the song himself. So our next hymn, Beauty for Brokenness. Brokenness, hope for despair. Lord, in the suffering, this is our prayer. Bread for the children, justice, joy, peace. Sunrise to sunset, your kingdom increase. Shelter for fragile lives, cure for their ills Work for the craftsmen, trade for their skills Land for the dispossessed, rights for the weak Voices to plead the cause of those who can't speak God of the poor Friend of the weak, give us compassion, we pray. Melt our cold hearts, the tears. 
fall I pray Come change our love from a spark to a flame Refuge from cruel wars, havens from fear Cities for sanctuary, freedoms to share to the killing fields, scorched earth to green. Christ for the bitterness, his cross for the pain. God of the poor, friend of the weak, give us compassion, we pray. Melt our cold hearts, let tears fall. spark to a flame Rest for the ravaged earth oceans and streams plundered and poisoned a future and dreams Lord and the madness carelessness greed content with the things that we need. God of the poor, friend of the weak, give us compassion, we pray. Melt our cold hearts, the tears fall like rain. Come change our love from a spark. Until the nations learn of your ways Seek your salvation and bring you their praise God of the poor, friend of the weak Give us compassion, we pray Melt our cold hearts, let tears fall prayers of intercession. Spirit of God who hovered over the waters, harness your power in us to live faithfully and in harmony with the rhythms of righteousness for the restoration of creation and the glory of your name. Amen. <clears throat> Our God, we pray for transformation of hearts and minds, for the stones of indifference to become hearts of compassion for the stones of anxiety to become hearts of hope. In your name we pray. Amen. Creator God, from the tree of the Garden of Eden to the tree in the city in Revelation, we thank you for your vision of creation healed. Help us to be your agents of restoration, tending to the beauty of the earth, and enabling your healing of the nations. Amen. O God of our salvation, 
You are the hope of all the ends of the earth and of the farthest seas. By your strength, you establish the mountains. You are girded with might. You silence the thundering seas, the roaring of the waves, the tumult of the peoples. Those who live at earth's farthest bounds are old are by your signs. You make the gateways of the morning and evening shout for joy. Help us to add your voice to creation's praise and to shout for climate justice. Amen. And the final hymn that I've chosen is Give Thanks with a Grateful Heart. And our final blessing. Let justice roll down like a river. May righteousness flow like a never ending stream and may the joy of the creation fill you anew as you pray, act and give for the restoration of creation and the flourishing of all people. In the name of the Creator, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>